Hi, my name is Elizabeth and I'm a librarian here at Coastline and I'm excited because I have just finished a data coach training with Dr. Zetner here at Coastline College. And this is actually my final capstone project where I'm supposed to do a communication about what my data question was and let me make sure I cover everything. So number one, what's my name? My name's Elizabeth Haran. What's my occupation? I am a librarian here at Coastline. What's my department? Well, that's the library. Uh, and what's my area of interest for college data? Well, my kind of small area of interest is always related to the library for usage, for statistics, for how students are finding the library, and just increasing those numbers so students can utilize the free resources we have. That's kind of my small version of it. But overall, I'm very um, fascinated with how data um, how my how data actually should support the planning of what the college does, how we move forward based on the um, statistics we're looking at and the data, and how that data is communicated to the whole college as a whole. I'm really kind of fascinated in that with that. And so my contact information you can uh, you can call or call you can call me or you can email the library and here is that information for you. And then what I'm going to tell you about is my assignment. So my question at the beginning of this course was how can Coastline social media analysis? Um, nope. Start again. How can Coastline social media analytics help to inform increased usage in the Coastline library? And how do I get access to this information? And how can I correlate things happening in the library directly to social media outreach? So in the library, I have a YouTube channel and I have control of that for analytics, but all the other social media that I use is actually through the marketing department. So I'm not able to see if the social media outreach that happens directly correlates to usage in the library. So I'm looking to work with the marketing department to look at that. Um, that data and to see if we should change our marketing campaign, if it is being effective for helping students to find the library, or if it's not, and if it's not, how to change that. So let me see, I present the details of my research idea, my population or students, my data source is gonna be analytics from different social media, and my data collection method is gonna be um, qua qualitative, quantitative, which is the numbers, and I, of course, learned a whole bunch of different vocabulary for this data training, but I'm blanking on it when I'm doing my final project. But let me tell you, it was super cool, and I will have my cheat sheet of all my data terms in the future. Oh, speaking of the future, my plans for the future is always to use data to support decisions in the library, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the other data questions and projects that my coworkers were talking about in our discussions to see those kind of where those go, because they were really, really interesting. We now have a really broad understanding of data and um, just different ways of communicating it and interpreting it and understanding it. So overall, I thought this was a great opportunity to learn about something um, in much more detail than maybe I probably would have ever learned about. So thanks to my classmates, and I'm happy to talk to anyone about data. All right, have a great day. Bye.